Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to an extremely comfortable 65 degree day. Today's the Tuesday, the 30th of May. We got today and tomorrow left of May. We're rocking into June. Man, summer's just what, three weeks away? That's crazy. Nuts. Love the winds. Windy out here again today. So, Kelly and I got up, started at 11 and ended at 3.30. We did a major lawn maintenance day today. Did a lot of my hands are shaking. Kelly's knees are sore. And we did all kinds of all kinds of lawn maintenance today. Sasha, what are you doing? Why are you hiding over there, huh? What's my girl doing? Hey, come here. You're up to something. What do you you got the sniffer in here? Come on. What is it? What are you doing? Huh? Do I gotta come to you? You're not coming to me? Is that the way that works, Sasha? Huh? She's such a knothead. Sasha hiding in the house the whole time where weed eating, lawn mowing, and all that stuff. I bagged it for the first time. That's why I can very safely lay in the lawn without getting up with grass all over me. You're gonna force me to come to you, huh? Yeah. There's no more lawn mowing, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> she does a little head burying. You're such a knothead. You're such a goof. But yeah. So, you know, the, uh, um, <laughs> the Red Cat Gen 9, that's got probably the worst tire those interco i think they are i think they're called ss m16s or something like that whatever their name is but uh those are probably the worst traction out of any stock tires i've ever had on a car the best by a long shot is the the traxxas traxxas canyon trails that come on literally every Traxxas rock crawler. They may use them on other trucks too, but all the rock crawlers, all their TRX4s. But uh, those, fantastic. I mean, literally, people buy the tires that are. <laughs> you do it. Are you want some some love, love time, huh? You big old fluffy fur ball. <laughs> but anyway, the next best stock ones. That I've ever used are the uh, and I'm gonna forget the the name of the brand, but the brand that's on the axial um, um, early Ford Broncos. And then we got Danny, this old Danny boy. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> you got out of my face. It's hard to talk. When... Go ahead, sit down. They can't see you when you got your face in my face. You've been asleep, huh? Look at them half-cast eyes. But those on the Broncos, those tires work amazingly well. What I was going to say, a lot of people buy the tires unmounted from Traxxas and put them on bead lockers and stuff. You see a lot of guys using them. They work really, really well. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try something with the, um, <laughs> with the Gen 9. Um, you've seen these before. We're going to see if we can't change the traction reaction. I do, last night I ordered some, some more of those Proline um, BF Goodrich, Goodrich KM3s, but I got them in the, in the M8 compound instead of the Predator. I have the Predator compound. They're just like crazy, crazy soft. And they'd probably be the best in really dry areas with really... A lot of hard rock stuff, but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's check these tires out right quick. The old red cat. How about the Predator BF Goodriches? <laughs> and that's those uh, those trio wheels that I got for the 
Um, K10. K10 and Bronco. They'll work on literally anything with a 12 millimeter hex. But those tires, these are the Predator compound. They're the blue dots. See the blue, the blue dot? Orange dot is the M8 compound. That's the more, um, it's a stiffer compound. You remember I got them and I put them on something. I think I was even running on the K10. And I didn't, they don't even need the dual foams. I don't know if they use the different foams in the M8s compared to the Predators. The Predators, these tires would literally sit there like they're flat with this truck. But, uh, yeah, let's see how this traction goes. See what this traction reaction is. Another one of my famous woodworking thing, a drill and some zip ties. The, uh, motorcycle technician, you just can't, just can't get that out of you, I guess. <laughs> but the main thing, that ramp, that thing is getting kind of sketchy. It was moving off to one side. So I came here after I got done with, I was putting the mower away and, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna haul, zip tie that thing down. Then I realized that plate, that one piece of, I think it's paneling or something. I don't even know what it is. It's something Kelly's dad brought over here. Kelly and her wood. But uh, that thing was moving around the rack, so I put a couple of zip ties there. So let's play with this thing here for a second. Hope my shaky hands don't make me do anything weird. I love that low speed thing and you just let go of the throttle and the trail braking just locks down and you have control over that you can slow that way down so this is the first time I rode on these BF Goodriches on this thing you can see they're, they're really clean they were stowed away so you know how this thing has a problem um, going across these these bricks just plop my butt on the ground. I always have to either back up and gas it again. Those stock tires just slip. But I bet you it has no problem getting over here with these. I usually have to gas it to get the um, Gen 9 to go over these bricks. Look at that. Just immediately is biting. Not one slip. Yeah, that works for me. It also has a little bit of a problem going over the uh, this taller brick bridge thing I made here. It always slides in the rear. You have to gas it to get it over. But watch this, it's just gonna bite and go, I guarantee you. Look at them. Look at them tires. We got this. And that's those trio wheels. Remember, I got the black ones instead of that um, titanium looking ones I got Kelly. Um, love those, the color of those on Kelly's. Those are the same wheels, but they're black. And you can't hardly see the cool design it's got right there. You can see a reflection until it's there. But they really stand out on Kelly's truck. And. Uh, Anyway, they look good. I like the open spokes. I like the more open spokes where you can see behind them. Look at that. No slip whatsoever. And you just let go and let that trail brake lock down. It's just sitting there. I mean, it should just push that thing in the gravel up front. And those wheels should just slide and drop down. Guaranteed it does with the those stock interco tires pretty cool let's whiz over to the ramp because this was the hardest one to get up that ramp so i'm going to drive it in the gravel over there so i'll make sure the tires are dirty and um we'll see how it goes up the ramp now got a good grip on my transmitter here Look 
look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing, the difference with tires. But the cool thing is sliding back. Yeah. No more of that <laughs> sliding on the ramp. That's nuts. She likes them tires. But anyway, that's like I say, that's a Predator compound. And I got some really cool wheels to go with the M8 compound. And I'm not sure what I'm putting it on yet. Well, I have an idea. I know. I just. I'll wait and show you guys next week when they show up. That's really cool. After a 20 point turn. Wish this table was bigger that I can turn them around up here. But this is just a, a hack together thing at the last moment. I've just been using it ever since. But she shouldn't go skidding down there like she normally does. It's not even gonna slip an ounce. That's the angle she's sitting. How would your world look angled like that? Actually, so much traction it almost takes kind of the fun out of it, doesn't it? That thing's a, a riot. It makes me laugh like crazy with that skidding around. And these tires don't make that squalling sound like the uh, stock tires did either. That's some crazy traction right there. You know, in the past, these uh, BF Goodriches uh, did not do well on the slippery deck at all. I was actually shocked. The only thing I've ever tried it on was a K10. Yeah, see the back slipping around. That's the way the stock Intercos do with this truck. There's just like no traction on that slippery thing. whack on it thing, wouldn't I? Come on around there, gal. See about them tires, they are good looking as holy heck though, aren't they? And those trio wheels. Pay a little extra for those, but they are some kind of good looking. Those dual stage foam with them super soft tires just look so realistic. And the tire doesn't roll over and you scratch your, your rims. Oh, I'm like, why is the thing notching a little bit? Because she was in high gear. Like, man, a fusion motor does not do that. It does when you're 12th gear. <laughs> Yeah. 
see right there that front wheel that thing would fold over right to the rim without those dual stage inserts in there there she goes she's going to slide that front it's because the diffs are locked if I could unlock the diffs it wouldn't do that That far I had to push before the brake lights came or the reverse lights come on. There they are. Got to get them activated first. And they'll kind of hang there. Oops, they're pre rack. Alright. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, oh man. It started out as hours and hours of work. It still continued. Callie was doing stuff in the house. She cleaned that the patio off on that old craft house. And I uh, found it. <laughs> yeah, I found about an hour and fifteen minutes of bliss with that car. Oh man, there's something like going on and off that thing. There's rocks down there. Man, I found a cool little place sitting in the sun. Ooh, there's an old bench up there. That was very nice. It's funny the smallest thing can entertain you for a long time with old rock crawler because mm -hmm. it's not all about going fast and where are you going you're just putting around that was fun but <laughs> that thing is like there before i came out and ended up over there on the porch i let it sit outside and i was just gonna go in for a minute and it took forever kelly goes you know that car sitting out there and i go yeah she goes well the lights on now the lights are off well it timed itself timed itself out but uh when i came out and took off to go ride it burnt the uh, shift servo out so i have no it's it's permanently stuck in low gear but uh, i'm like spectrum stuff a regular servo you can buy off amazon which i already have some anyway and we'll go right in there it's not the weird problems but anyway so we'll fix so that. something got broke but it's cheap easy to fix I've set my own inputs. I won't rely on, don't touch it, it's factory set. Unless you replace something that requires resetting them, they're factory set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> sure they are. Yeah, buddy, always check them. Mm -hmm. no, I didn't. But anyway. We should probably that it go. I think so. Let's roll. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. All right. For real. We'll, we'll see you guys see you tomorrow. In the morning. Thanks for watching now. Bye bye.